Welcome in everybody to the Swing Shop here at Huntmore Official. I'm Jonathan, Brian. Going to talk to you a little bit about um, the mindset that some of these hitters have got to kind of get into when they're training. It's so important. We talk about it so much just between the two of us. The mental aspect of this is almost more important than the mechanical aspect. Oh, yeah. How you go into training, how you approach it, I mean, mentally. Mm -hmm. um, we call ourselves perfectionists. Yeah. We, we are so picky when we're doing these drills, whether it's with other people, whether we're doing them ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're that way for a reason. We have a ball sitting on the tee. Ball's not moving. There are no variables in anything that we're doing. Yeah. So if you can't be almost perfect, you don't have that mindset that yeah. I'm trying to be perfect, as perfect as I can be every swing, mm -hmm. you're not really going to see as much improvement as you could. Oh, no. um, and, and I'll let you talk here too, but I know for me, when I stand up here, um, I'm so critical of myself. Oh, there it is. Yeah, skip past. Okay. Same thing, Pepper. There it is. Fat old man trying to. Hurt. Where's that rod at? Mm -hmm. Think about that rod. Look at that, bam, back in it. Okay, get a little further past. Ah, oh, that has stability. I'm so picky in regards to, I mean, making sure that every ball comes off the tee just about the exact same way. Because well, again, yeah. ball sitting still, ball's not moving. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's, a, you, there's something you want to feel specifically mm -hmm. every time. Right. Whether it be with my hands, my lower half, whatever. There's a goal in mind of what I'm trying to do. And if I don't reach that goal when I'm trying to go through my training, then I have failed. Mm -hmm. That's not successful. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you say. It's something else we talked about. Nine out of ten times, guys, I even mean you did it when we yeah. played. We roll over on a ball, hit it up the middle, we're happy with that. Oh, yeah, base hit. Because it's base hit. Yeah. But in reality, I just was around that ball, rolled over on the ground, and got lucky because it went up the middle. Uh -huh. And it, it's that aspect of, yes, we're not trying to be negative all the time, but we're trying to be realistic. The truth of that is, I failed. I yeah. rolled over and I got lucky because it went up the middle. Yeah, I didn't hit the ball good enough. Yeah. But um, just to talk a little bit about um, expectations or what I should be thinking about every time I get up to the team work. One is what I'm trying to do with my body, okay? The feeling of what's happening. Mm -hmm. I've got to be in tune with what's going on, how it's functioning. Otherwise, there ain't nothing I can do when it gets to game time because yeah. I can't feel nothing. Mm -hmm. But two is my result. Based on what I'm feeling here, is my result mirroring? Is it lined up? Yeah. Um, I had a lesson I did a couple days ago that um, it was near the end. We got full swings. Um, he's been getting in a good groove, hitting about line drive, backspin, right side. He kind of got off one swing from where he was hitting it within a foot of each other to a little bit more up the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay. I did when he gets to full swings, I try to shut up. I try to let them be able to yeah. coach themselves, make adjustments, because I'm not gonna be there when they get to full swings in the game. Mm -hmm. I'm there if he has about three or four, he can't do it, he can't make the adjustment, then I'll step in. But I kinda tried to let him figure it out. I could tell things were getting a little off. Um, hit one still good hit hit ball, mm -hmm. less less back spin, more top spin, getting a little bit more towards the middle. Well, um, I tell him, make an adjustment. Okay, so whatever, whatever. Okay, so he keeps going through. Um, he's okay with that result. Now, based on him being okay with that ball trickling up the middle, the next one gets a little bit further up the middle and a little bit lower than that. The next one, same thing, a little bit lower until he, last one, rolls over. So I'm saying we're done for the day, let's come talk. Okay, because at this point, this kid's uh, been with us for a while. Mm -hmm. Seven, eight months, close to a year. Um, so some of these things, he should have higher expectations for what he's trying to do. Absolutely. Because he has been with us longer, he has he knows what we expect, what he should expect of himself. Um, but in the reality is, kids do this all the time with training. Oh yeah. They they don't have high expectations for their training. They're okay with line drives, even though I yeah, didn't do it properly. That is going to trickle over into the game and produce bad results. Yeah. And we had a big talk about that. Cause he's having a struggle with feeling stuff. He's having a struggle with all these other things when we train. Mm -hmm. And it's only gonna get worse in the game. Cause yeah. the ball, when we train, it's not moving. Yeah. 
So. And, and so as a player, you have to put yourself, I mean, you got to start relating this stuff to, I mean, what you want out of this. Yeah. I mean, I, I know for us when we played this, I mean, being, being former Division One athletes, being able to play against some of the some of the best players at our age, um, you have to want to get to that level. Yeah. And the only way you're going to get to that level is if you are critical about being the best I can possibly be mm -hmm. on every swing that I take. Yeah. We talk so much about like the line drives up the middle, the balls that I mean, everybody would say great hit, great hit, great hit. Yeah. Those are the ones that we're talking about the most. Mm -hmm. Those are the kind of balls that you got to be able to critique yourself. You got to be able to understand. Okay, I may have got me a hit right here, but and look, kudos for getting a hit that game. Yeah, okay, you got a hit, but we have to be realistic as hitters and come back home and be like, "That's not what I want to do," uh, and so I got to, I got to get back into it, what yeah. I want. So absolutely. Yeah. So again, talk to your players, encourage them. A lot of this stuff is going to come more so from you than it is anybody else, parents. You've got to encourage your players to be critical of themselves. Yes. Coach yourself. You are going to be your best hitting coach because nobody else is feeling this but you. Yeah. So be critical. Be sure that I'm taking each swing with a purpose. I'm taking each swing to make the best, most perfect swing I can possibly take. And then I'll let it be what it's going to be. Yeah. Subscribe to the channel. We appreciate you guys following along. We'll see you next time right here at Swing Shop.